sex. No, not sex. <laughs> oh, it could be sex. That's Richard Bell. I'm at his opening at Milani Gallery, and it is called Dredging Up the Past. Richard, how are you going? I'm going pretty good. How are you? Now, how does the title of the show relate to the work? Um, I think it's pretty obvious. You know, like, um, there's, there's quite a few issues that um, I bring up in this work, in the works in this show. Um, uh, I think um, there's, it's typical of one of my shows. Um, it's it, it's a, lot, a, a lot of humour, um, uh, some, something that will um, make people cry, something that will make people laugh. Yeah. It feels like there's been a real evolution in the way that you were like, working with the text and the imagery. Is, are you feeling like a confidence in how things are going? Um, yeah, well, 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 basically I'm using... <laughs> <laughs> portraiture, you like um, in in the works which I, which I haven't done before, so um, and that might look kind of revolutionary to people, but you know it's it's not. It's just another way of communicating. Yeah. Um, now, messages. It's it's still quite political. Like, are you an artist first or an activist, or an activist and a, or an artist? Which one? Well, I'm an activist who masquerades as an artist. Ta-da! <laughs> um, and so the, you, that, that's your, I guess, your inspiration? Um, yeah, well, um, basically my life is the inspiration for um, most of my work. Um, it's uh, autobiographical, a, a lot of it. You know, like, um, lot, like I know I'm familiar with this story. You know, like... Um, 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 familiar with this, you know, like I, I hear white Australians saying all the time, you know, that they're indigenous to this place, you know, like they're not, you know, like if they go to South America, Africa, Asia and, and ask people to ask, to guess where they're from, they'll all say Europe, none of them will say Australia, and if they say they're from Australia, they say no, you're European, okay, that's the reality. And it's very difficult for Australians to deal with that. So here it is. I'm telling you, that's where you come from. Good on you. I'm totally with you on that one. <laughs> now tell us, so here's Goff. What's going on? What's the story? Oh, well, um, this is the, the end point of um, uh, an eight-year-old, eight-year-long struggle, you know, like for land at Wadi Creek. Um, uh, the guy on the left is Vincent Lingyari, um, um, and he led the struggle for by his people, yeah, you know, for um, uh, the land which Wadi Creek, which was owned by uh, Lord Vesty, who was who was the Queen of England's first cousin. So you know, the, this man took on the British Empire uh, essentially and won. And he was told that you know, like that um, uh, he that. Uh, he wouldn't win. Uh, he wouldn't win, or that if he did, it, it would it would take years. And uh, Vincent famously, famously sa said, um, "We're Aboriginal. We know how to wait." So, um, and do you think you're still waiting? Oh, mate! Look, I'm Aboriginal. I know how. I'm, I know how to wait too. You're like, and if, if we go, if we're going to wait another two hundred years to get our land, yes. you know, we will. Hopefully, won't take that bloody long. Is there a politician like Goff? Uh, well, like well, Goff? well um, you know, um, the, the white people. When, I'm not very confident that the white people are, are mature enough, you know, to do a, a decent deal with us. So I think I think that we we have to teach you a lot more before you you uh, qualify to actually sit down and have a discussion about uh, making a deal. Yeah, absolutely. And is there a politician like someone like Goff? that you feel is willing to come and listen and, and understand and then make change? Um, I'm, uh, no, I haven't seen them. Um, I'm, but, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that there are some there, you know, um, who, would, who would love to be able to help, but, you know, will get swallowed by the party machine. You know, like, um, I, th I think our job is to go... Uh, uh, past that, we we need to get um, to the Australian people um, uh, and, and change the consciousness. Absolutely, you know, like we we need we need to um, help 
change some of the narratives, you know, um, some of the mythologies of uh, that um, underpin the Australian culture. You know, like, and we need it to be not to be just more inclusive of Aboriginal people, but to acknowledge that we own the place. You know, like, um, so. And your work is definitely a pathway to that, would you say? To the understanding of the stories and shifting the, the frame and the paradigm. Well, I certainly hope so. You're like, um, um, I, I, I've got to say I really enjoyed doing it. You know, like I get a lot of pleasure out of it. It's okay. <laughs> out of doing it. You know. It's all right but, to have fun. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm. I'm, I'm gonna I, ha- I have seen you on the dance floor. <laughs> I have seen him on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Um, um, look, these are you know um, images that are, are going to be important. You know, in telling you know the story of this country. You know, like um, this. This is just part of the thing. I'm just one artist making uh, works, you know. It's up to the the art historians and the historians to, to put this shit together. We're, we're, we're making these things, these works, we're putting these things on record, you know, so that they can't be hidden, you know, like, um, you know, they might be able to hide them here in Australia, but, you know, these images are going around the world. So, you know, like, um, you know, and hopefully some of these end up in overseas collections as well, so... Well, good luck with that. Thank you. The oh, work's fantastic. It's down at Milani Gallery if you want to come and check it out. He is funny and he can dance really well and he's got good style. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Richard. I'm yeah. Beck Mac. Bye. Bonsoir, Eda Vedeci. Das Vodanya.